Rob Font's striking is built around his excellent jab. He uses his jab to probe for openings at range, control distance, and set up his combination work. With so much of his effectiveness dependent on establishing and building off the jab, his opponents are always looking to counter it. The most dangerous counter to the jab in the boxing textbook is the cross counter. The cross counter combines a slip of the head inside the jab with a right hook or an overhand. It's particularly dangerous because when timed perfectly, the jabber's own momentum carries them directly into their opponent's strongest punch. However, Font has managed to make this dangerous counter a non-issue throughout his career. So how does he do it? It starts with a commitment to varying his jab and making it difficult to predict. Font is constantly pumping out hand and foot feints at his opponent, throwing off their timing and reactions. Once he's established his feints, the counters start coming a tiny bit later, giving Font time to pull his head back and make them fall short. He'll also specifically look to draw the cross counter with light throwaway jabs. When his man takes the bait, he pulls his weight back over his rear leg and loads up a powerful uppercut. But Font has something craftier and more unique up his sleeve too. His most consistent way to punish the cross counter is by turning his opponent's overhand into a transitional clinch exchange. The jab hanger is a clinch entry where the jab is dangled out with the shoulder high as the opponent throws a right hand. The right hand falls on the shoulder, and the jab can reach deep on the head and secure a grip. It's usually an upright motion used to get the elbow deep behind the head. You'll notice it used a lot in Muay Thai to enter a Thai style clinch lock, but it also made frequent appearances in Ronda Rousey's fights, as she used it to wrap the head and initiate her judo throws. Font has a unique adjustment to the jab hanger. He hangs the jab out while folding deep over his rear hip. This makes his clinch grip shorter, ending up with a loose collar tie rather than elbow deep, but it loads him up to transfer the weight forward and unleash a big right hand. The loose collar tie leaves enough space for him to bang in a hard right hook or an uppercut, but he'll also throw it to the body, or grab the head with both hands and just start kneeing. He uses this in just about every fight and it's always awesome. Not only are Font's opponents left guessing about when the jab is coming, but as soon as they pick up the timing, he simply catches their overhand on his shoulder and decks them for it. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're desperate for more Rob Font content, I wrote a much more in-depth breakdown for premium Substack subscribers, where I talk more about Font's brilliant jab and transitional hitting, as well as his underrated half-guard game. You can find it at mixingmartialarts.substack.com along with weekly fight analysis and Muay Thai recaps.